Hi right, everyone, welcome to another update of Five Elms. Um, this one is going to be on the control uh, of my layout. And as you can see, I've got Railmaster and E Link. Uh, my little boy wants to say hello. Hello, Max. Hi. You alright? Yeah. Say hello to everyone. I'm good. Hi. And I'm good to change. Alright, well, we'll come to that in a minute, alright? Okay. Um, so I've got um, Rail, uh, E Link now. Uh, so Railmaster. Just got an old PC here um, with the e link unit in. Um, and what I've done is I've set up a couple of monitors um, off of that old PC. Uh, I've got an extra graphics card in there. And um, I've set up a webcam actually on the other part of the layout, so all behind there. Uh, just gives me a little idea of what's going on um, behind the scenes, as it were. And it just lets me know what's, what's behind there. I'm going to have a few more of these dotted around the, the layout. Um, hopefully, I have four in the screen so I can see. You know, I've got this area behind here. Um, I'd like to see what's going on behind there. And just generally gives me a, an idea of what's going on. So, in terms of, I'm not going to do a review um, of the E Link, just my observations really. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. It, it just suits me down to the ground. Um, you know, working with computers is my job, um, and I, th I just think it, it, it's a fantastic way of, of controlling the trains. And also, what I do like is um, I actually like the monitors up there. I think it's cool. It's all, it, to me, it actually looks part of it. I know it's a little bit close to scenery, but I've put them as high as I can. But to me, I like that. I think it, it looks cool. I've done my track plan. That is an exact track plan of what we've got. Um, so as you can see, I've got two bits disappearing off there, uh, and that's that's them bits there. Um, we've got the bit two lines that just come through there, and that's them bits. So I've represented everything. In terms of installation, what a pain! I mean, it was unbelievable. The first one I got was actually faulty, and I spent about five hours up here, um, just not refusing to let go, you know, thinking I can sort it. And it basically turned out that the uh, the little E-Link unit, this little black box there, was just in a constant state of restart. So the, the PC would find it, device manager would find it, and then as soon as um, Railmaster tried to find it, it would just lose it and it would go through that cycle again. Um, luckily they swapped it straight over for me, plugged this one in, and it was easy. Um, the only real issue with it, <coughs> If, for example, after I installed it, I, I uh, installed that webcam, and both being on USB, it pushed that down to a different COM port, so the computer couldn't find the E-Link e controller. So you have to go into Device Manager, find out what COM port it's on, and change it. Not not hard for some people, but a nightmare for others. Um, so installation isn't easy. Um, one of the reasons that I've got it is for Max, so he can control uh, stuff on the iPad. Two. Two. Yeah, at the moment it's evaluation copy. And I've just purchased it, and they said in a um, minute um, I'm going to control in all the trains, but I'm not going to control in the two and um, the blue train. Do you no. know the blue train? Yeah, they know the blue train, the the um, the javelin. Oh, okay. All right. So at the moment, what I like about it is that Max can join in. Now, the fact that I haven't got electric points for some people will go, what's the point of that, you know? But as we know, if you watch my channel, the points are, you know, they start there. That's all my point area. That, hence the reason why this is my main control area. I've got one point there and one point there. Now what it means is that I can give Max the iPad and he can just control the backwards and forwards of each train. And I could control number three and... Exactly. And what's it, number? Uh, number ten on that one. Um, it just means that I can give him full control of the layout. He's not allowed to touch the points, he knows that. He knows the difference between modelling yeah. and toys, you know? Um, so I can give him forward and backwards on all local, models. all locos and uh, away we go. It, annoyingly, they don't tell you on the box, but you have to pay nine ninety nine for the license for the iPad. It's still a cheap thing to have a walk around controller. 
um, and for this for this video I just purchased it because I've been meaning to do it anyway and it come up on screen where we'll send you an email in 48 hours and we'll give you the code so that was a little bit annoying so at the moment Max can only control two and what I might do is uh, I might connect this lap this layer his little layer up to my main oh yeah my that's yeah, that my, one's my one. yeah, my main uh, line, if you like, and have a couple yeah. of digital trains on there, so he can control the train cool. with, with the iPad. That'd be cool, wouldn't it, Max? Yeah. Yeah, he'd like It'd that. Be really cool. Right. Okay. So, also, one of the other things that I've got a keyboard and mouse here that I don't need to have a mouse. Um, I can just do the, you know, c control with my finger, which is really handy. Eventually, cool. eventually, I will have um, a table down here. But as you can see, this is my main control area, and I quite like the screens up there. Oh, in fact, I really like it. Um, got the old five elms on the screen there. And what I could do is, I mean, <coughs> uh, I could actually make the most of the dual screen. Let's have a look. <laughs> well, basically, I can stretch it over to. If you had a big track plan with electronic points, I mean, I, you can actually stretch this over the, you know, the two the two screens there. Um, you've got pictures um, of the actual the train, um, which you can select from from their database, or you can even take your own pictures. Um, the thing that I like about it actually, you can set so much stuff. You can set, um, it's got scale speed, so you can set a, um, a shunting speed or a fast speed. So I don't bother with this, with, with this slider. Basically I've got my slow speed, um, which is 10 miles an hour it says. Um, or I can, this is the southeast one we're looking at. Or I can go to the uh, faster bit. Um, and that's up to 60 miles an hour it says. I'm going to put it on slow because it's nice and quiet then. Um, so yeah, you can go dual screen, um, which, which I think is quite cool. Um, but at the moment, I've got all my webcam stuff there. So in terms of um, controlling it on the iPad, uh, Max, do you want to just lift that iPad up so we can see it on the screen? Yeah. That's it. Right, control, um, do some, some sound stuff, stick, stick, stick the sound on, on oh, number three. Number three? Yeah, number three, mate. Okay. Well, yeah, that's it, just press it once, that's it. Give it some horn, mate. And again. Yeah, number two. That's it. Oh, don't know what happened now. Um, one of the things that a couple of people have moaned about is the fact that it would be nice if this was touch sensitive, it's not. But, you know, you have to physically touch it, which is fine and not really a problem because now I've set the shunt speed and the cruise speed, that's all I use. So I, I, you know, shunt speed is there, cruise speed is there. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I don't bother with the, I'm just gonna turn that sound off, Max, because of the video, all right? Okay. Um, I don't bother with the whole sliding of it. I just go either shunt speed um, or cruise speed, and that, that suits me, that totally suits me. I mean, you know, I, I spoke about it in the past, but I'm not really into, the, you know, the shunting of the trains and, and messing about. Oh, what? <laughs> Max has had a face painting today. We've wiped the face off, but he's still got his arm done. That's cool. What I'm into is just watching the trains go past, you know? So that's where this, this really suits me. Um, you can also set up programs as well. Um, I set up a little program to have the sound loco sitting in the station. Um, it would sit there and it would go through some of the sounds functions that you wouldn't normally choose like you can set it to sit there and do the couplers the compressor comes on um, then you do the horn then I started the engine uh, then I had it coming up to about here did the, did the horn through the uh, the junction speed it up etc halted over here for a little while did another horn and you can just set that up as a program and it just it just makes things a little bit more interesting um, and I think it looks cool um, it's eighty four ninety nine. I know. I know you. I, well, I know for a fact you can get them from on Hattons, um a lot cheaper. So eighty four ninety nine. I paid nine ninety nine license for the iPad, and I think I've got a pretty extensive controller. Um, yeah, you have to wait for your PC to, to switch on. Uh, yeah, these, these little things, you know, it's not much of a problem. 
um, double heading for example um, you just literally put a tick by which ones you want to double head so if I can control that now I don't know if I'm zoomed in enough um, you scroll through your trains click which ones you want double heading um, and that's double headed then you go back in and tell them not to be double headed it's really really simple stuff um, you know it took me quite a while to devise this track plan I wanted to get it right it's not functional for me because I haven't, I haven't got points but it, it looks cool <laughs> um, in the end they're talking about getting train detection clips so you can tell where your train is I'd be quite interested in that but really as it stands that, that is more than good enough um, I've got it on a different colour theme I think that looks a little bit less garish than the original theme um, and you've got pictures and stuff there you can have it a bigger control panel um, I just think it looks good I like it I was really really happy really happy um, if you get a short on the layout it doesn't like it you basically let's be honest you have to restart your PC for everything to um, to set up again um, which is a pain but you know it's a, every controller has got its good and bad bits and, and I like it <clears throat> I'm glad I brought it I'm glad I've got the two screens set up um, I'm glad I've got the webcam set up I think that's that's really handy actually just lets me know what, what's what's going on behind that <coughs> that's, the, that's the raised up level uh, I've just got a little steam logo going around there now um, you probably all know that um, model zone has um, gone into liquidation um, and part of part of the model zone is the signal box uh, one of my local shops I'm sure everyone knows and I've been down there doing a bit of spending just to that's all scenery stuff really so I've got it all out tidied it all up to see what what, what more stuff I need uh, but I'll be gutted when that goes because it's been there for years um, and it's just nice on the way through from work I can park up go in there and just spend a couple of quid choose stuff but now I've got to know exactly what I want exactly where to get it um, there's no more sort of browsing online in there I could go in there and have a good old browse um, but it's by no means perfect there at the e-link um, I think if you've got Railmaster and the Elite I don't think there's any any point really of, of upgrading or downgrading to to the e-link um, the, the good thing is you can uh, obviously use the iPad and as I say for me my, my layout is quite simple there's no electronic points but it means that Max who is a big part of the layout and the railway and this is railway but he I mean he plays with his a lot but you like mine don't you, you know? I love yours the best exactly so you know using the iPad I can give it to him I can say which trains he can control you do a really good job didn't you Hang on, Max, because we are on the World Wide Web here. <laughs> Go on, quickly. Let's see what he's got to say. This, this better be good, Max. This, I think, I forgot, I think that one. It was number one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, you know, this one is number one. Yeah. That's right. So what I'm going to do is, Max, I'm going to connect this up, your layout, to my yeah. layout. You can control that with the iPad. What do you think on that? But well, what a great system for less than a hundred quid, I think. You know, yeah, I suppose you'll have to include the the cost of the um, the monitor and the computer and stuff. But I had it anyway. Um, so for me, less than a hundred quid, I've got a fully computerized system that I could not only control the trains with, I can mess about with, I can do some programs and you know set up some programs and use all the functions of the the sound and um, but I love it as you can tell I think it's cool and you know I really like it sitting there I don't think that the monitors are going to encroach on the the scenery I mean that's the top of the building so you're only going to get trees come up to maybe where that shadow is um, so I don't think that's going to encroach and I think it looks cool all right so um, again you know you can see that I'm really taking my time and doing all the steps that you know should be done um, all ready for for winter and start scenery in that corner and move onwards okay so thanks for watching I just thought I'd show you this update although it's gone a lot longer than I thought but you know how I ramble um, all right Max so say goodbye to everyone Bye. all right see you later Bye.